good morning children good morning makla in previous class we started with the lesson what is the time which what is the lesson name what is the time so in this lesson we were learning about how the people were measuring the time in olden days how the people were measuring the time in olden days nowadays we have clocks but there were no clocks at that time even though people were measuring the time how they were measuring looking at the movement of sun in the sky looking at the movement of the sun in the sky they were measuring the time means when the sun rays falls on someone how the shadow changes its size means how the shadow shadow means namma neralu how it changes its size if it is on the right top of our uh, head how much the size will be whether it is lengthy it becomes small it will be on the right side left side looking at that they were measuring the time after some time what they did they made one stick stand vertically in a ground and put some stones around it and then look the when sun rays falling on the stick the shadow of that stick would be changing its size looking at that they were measuring the time means it is a mid of the day it is going to be the evening now it is going to be the sunset and in this way they were measuring the time after some days they found with a new device that was measuring glass that was called as measuring glass means though two glasses were uh, fixed with a mouth closed with in front of with each, in front of each other and then sand was put inside it the sand was put inside it and it was kept reversed it was kept reversed means the empty glass would be down and the sand filled glass would be on the top and sand used to fall on the bottom in the bottom glass once the full complete sand is fallen down it means it is 60 minutes it means one hour is passed after that again they used to reverse it again they used to reverse it so that again next one hour would pass like that they were measuring the time but in china how the people were measuring the time they are always in different little different from the others in the world so the what they did they had they were use, using the candles they were using the candles and the candles were marked with the lines equal with the equal distances with the equal distance suppose if this is the candle if this is the candle and it was measured with the line it was drawn with the line with the equal distance from top uh, in the from top to bottom it was measured with the equal distance once this much distance candle is burnt means this much time is passed like that they had uh, they were using the candles the same way so once the complete candle is burnt or the lines between two distance is over it means certain amount of time has been passed they were measuring it also they were using the oil lamps they were using oil lamps the lamps which we use in front of the god those kind of oil lamps they were using and those lamps would have the measured oil once that oil is over from that lamp it means the a certain amount of time is passed it means the certain amount of time is passed andre a deepadalli ಆಯಿಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ದೀಪ ನಾವು ದೇವ್ರ ಮುಂದೆ ಏನು ಇಡ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಳತೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದು ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತಿದ್ರು ಆ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ದೀಪ ಹಚ್ಚಿ ಇಟ್ಟಾಗ ಅದು ಆ ದೀಪ ಉರಿದು ಉರಿದು ಆ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಮುಗಿದು ಹೋದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಆ ಸ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸಮಯ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಹಾಕಿದಾಗ ಹಾಕಿದಾಗಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಮುಗಿದಿರೋವರೆಗೂ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸಮಯ ಮುಗೀತು ಅಂತ ಅವರು ಸಮಯನ ಅಳತೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ಮೆಜರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಡಿಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಹೂ ಇನ್ವೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ do you know the person who invented the clock was galileo mr galileo he invented the first clock for the in, in the entire world he invented the first clock clock in the entire world and that clock had a pendulum pendulum means it is a long rod it is a long rod you must have seen in some houses or some offices there will be a wall clock which will have a pendulum long rod will be there and once the one hour is passed 
or the 10 o'clock now it is if it is 10 o'clock the rod will move right to left rod will move right to left like that it would be it had and it was a long clock it was so tall and long clock which we had we they were not able to hang it on the wall it had to fix it somewhere in the corner so looking at that they were understanding the time and every half an hour one hour it used to give the uh, the pendulum used to move from right to left means it used to give the alarm 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 kind of noise when the pendulum moves from right to left it gives a sound that is called like that was like a alarm okay and it was made with some uh, wood or some of the some glasses and some uh, uh, iron rods and it was called as grandfather clock because it was the first clock so it was called as grandfather clock and after that they uh, came the cords cords well, cords means wall clock which we use to see the time which we used to see the time just a minute children i'll show you so then came the cords cords is means this these are the wall clocks which we use to measure the time these are the clocks which we use measure the time every house every government office every schools every hospitals every hotels temple everywhere we can see this kind of cords okay after that after that we uh, we came up with a uh, some small watches we came up with some small watches which we wear in our hand which we wear in our hand this kind of watches to see the time nowadays how we see the time we see the time in mobile using the mobile and these cords are made with the glass some are made with the gold cover is with the gold covers some have wrist watches means the watches which we wear on in our hand they are made with gold covers and some are made with plastic rubber many different things they are used in that and they are the watches which we use nowadays these are called as automatic watches or these are called as automatic watches means it will show the message it will be connected with our mobiles it will show the message as well as the time so nowadays there are many changes many changes in the watches which we use to see the time and the automatic clocks they are the still on number 1 me whether it is a cords or it is a wrist watch or it is a automatic watch they are on the number 1 no nothing can be replaced with them nothing can be replaced with them because they show the accurate time they show accurate time suppose we want the time to set to be set for 10 minutes fast 10 minutes after, uh, earlier then we can set it other we cannot set it behind we can set it later faster mean suppose we want to go somewhere at 8 o'clock we can set it as 8 uh, 10 minutes earlier means it will show if it is 8 o'clock also it will show as 8 10 like that we can use the smart watches or the cords which we use at our home so that now we don't have to depend on the shadow we are so forwarded now we are not depending on the shadow we are not depending on the stick or we are not depending on the measuring glass we have a smart watches which will show the accurate time but even though you may you might have seen the old people at our home in our village they will still say the time looking at the shadow they will st they will st still they will tell the time looking at the shadow that science we we have not yet learned but we are so far better than them but the science what they were using looking at to tell the time looking at the shadow we are not learned that much okay children so this was this lesson was about the time how we measure the time what was the first cords made with and who invented the clock the first clock was invented by mr galileo whom by mr galileo and it was a it was called as grandfather clock it was such a huge clock which had a pendulum pendulum means a rod which will move right to left and again right to left left to right like this and it will give a sound it will make a sound like the alarm alarm means when 
so uh, we want to get up early we want to re, uh, re- do some work on time that time we set the alarm but without the alarm if you want to set the time the only that can be done with the clock which has the pendulum okay children this was the information about the time how the people were measuring the time in previous days and now how we are measuring the time okay so in next class we will learn with the we will learn the new lesson till then take care